Hello, my name is Alessia Cicinkina. I'm a head of international relations of Neurotrend company. We are one of the leading neurotech uh, companies from Russia, and we develop uh, neurotechnologies from different directions. We have a, a project for healthcare sector, for business and educational sector. So here we came with two uh, projects. One is called Neurotrend Laboratory, uh, which includes a full set of equipment and software uh, for making different neurophysiological research. Uh, we use it for science research, for universities to educate students and to make some PhDs using these neuro laboratories, and for neuromarketing. Neuromarketing is a marketing research with the application of neurophysiology, when we put different sensors of, uh, on people and we can see their real subconscious uh, perception of advertisement, website flavor and anything that marketing produces so uh, we also uh, took our uh, neuro chat project here which is made for neuro communication of people with severe speech and movement disorders that was made for people with stroke with uh, ALS with cerebral palsy with different neuro traumas so people don't use hands or speech to communicate they just have a virtual keyboard on the screen a neuro headset that detects the reactions of their brain uh, our software randomly highlights, changes the color of different letters. And when I look to my letter, which I'm focusing on, and it is changing the color, I have a specific brain reaction at that moment. And the system sees this reaction and understand what letter I want to input. Letter by letter, I can input the whole word. We also have not a T9 system to expand the speed. We have a ready to grab sentences, pictures, games there depending on the condition we also use it for neuro rehabilitation of people with stroke and uh, uh, multiple scler sclerosis and here we have a uh, local partner in Iran with whom we have organized a conference uh, in at, uh, Tehran University of Medical Science, which is taking part on uh, 11 and 12 of May. Um, there we will sign a, a partnership agreement uh, for Iran and the MANA region. It will be opened by the president of Iranian uh, uh, Neuroscience Society, and we will have uh, speakers from different countries such as Russia, Iran, Brazil, and the United States. Here we are not only to sell the equipment, here we came to develop the whole ecosystem of neuroscience in uh, the region. Iran has a strong neuroscientist, but Iran uh, doesn't have companies that knows how to apply neuroscience to the real life of people and of business, which is important. So for like neuromarketing. We will bring it here and we will develop it here with our partner. Tomorrow we will start uh, the workshop on the conference in the university where we will have the first neuromarketing research in Iran and we will test the local advertisement and we will present the day after tomorrow the results of how Iranians perceive advertisement on different bags. Uh, so it's uh, possible to join for those who are interested and uh, we are inviting them. And uh, we also invite any neuroscientists and companies who have interest in this sphere to cooperate with us. Uh, we are open for any types of cooperation with the hospitals, with uh, research agencies, with analytic centers. Uh, we develop a chain of neuro laboratories in Russia. We have a lot, uh, 17 neuro laboratories uh, in our country, half of which are based on the universities. And uh, for universities in our country, that is a good thing because they can use all these three directions science education and they earn money with these laboratories because they make this commercial research for companies that is important for our universities you know uh, and uh, they also have in these neuro laboratories using the same equipment and the same uh, data the data acquisition process the same format of data they can have um, some usual research projects 
big research projects. For example, we have um, made a huge project together with a Tomsk State University when they use both uh, big data and neuroscience to analyze a student's uh, condition, perception of education process and materials during the COVID period. Because everything went online and people were not uh, ready for this. And uh, the level of education went down, you know. And they are using the combination of these two approaches to um, make a hybrid version of educational process which would be still efficient, you know. Uh, so uh, that is what we are planning for the very beginning and uh, we hope to start developing the chain of neural laboratories in the region in uh, this year uh, here together with our partner. Thank you.